the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. So the first rule of marketing is know your customer. Where do you buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Cash advance stores. That should tell you everything you need to know about the market. No such thing as human law. Only legal opinions subject to change. There's only one giver of universal laws. Section 230 and how to lose a coup. So hold Section two, hold the Defense Department hostage so that you can get Section 230 revised, which frankly, I'm completely behind. I think it's time for accountability for hate speech online. You can't do it anywhere else. And that accountability is coming with the Biden-Harris administration. You can be sure. However, this is a very strange way to execute a coup. Uh, You need the military. The Commonwealth of All Sports Market. Stay tuned. Sports gambling expansion will not only not help consumers and governments, it will bankrupt them both. And I will prove that in the Sports Vote Manifesto being released July 4th, 2021. Gambling is for losers, and that's across the board. That's from the consumer, to the government, to everybody in society. The entire marketing world calls gambling lists sucker lists, and that's just one example. Macau is down 80% after reopening, 80%. There will be no esports under my direction. Uh, I've communicated that to the team and to Alper, and he can take that up when he takes over. I will not be doing that. Trumpsports.org is nearing 20,000 searchable stories updated every 15 minutes at a rate of about 500 to 700 per day. Gambling debts are not enforceable in the United States. So this is very curious to me. If gambling debts are not enforceable in the United States, how is DraftKings and every other operator, pseudo-legal operator at the moment, how are they anything other than a legal fiction? There's a show called American Monster, and to my shock, just going through some of the episodes, there were several of them that covered gambling debt murder rampages. So this is, this is what you're promoting when you promote gambling. So our original sports risk index, European uh, uh, appeal, was one, sending it back down. This is actually from 2014. This is a very big deal. Because the SRI is an index that proxies for the market value of a sports team by using the public information. And we filed that patent uh, in 2000, actually it was before that, before 2014. This was the, um, the, the result of the Costa Rican search for regulation and the building of that parallel product. So that's been sent back down. And that's very important because it is a huge area. It covers all the European Union, including the extension states. And to get a grant on the SRI uh, in that jurisdiction can be used to leverage the rest of them. So it was a bit of a surprise win that came in last week. So this is very good news. Lego, rebuild the world. They're using that now as their uh, one of their main taglines. I think that's fantastic. Lego, rebuild the world. So if electricity, otherwise known as electromotive force, EMF, is required to keep something in existence, it doesn't exist. So... Crypto is that. Crypto is a math problem that exists on computers in the cloud and in other places. If the electricity goes out, everything disappears. So that doesn't happen when you have land. It doesn't happen when you have gold. It doesn't even happen when you have national currencies because national currencies represent the national wealth. The United States of America, for example, based in the in the Federal Reserve System US dollar is representative of the country, its interest, its public lands, etc. That is a dividing line that cannot be bridged without answering the question, what happens when the power goes off? And any ex- any answer that says the power won't go off is nonsense. It has happened before. Look up the Carrington event. The Carrington event back in the 1800s. So there's that. And then there's the what happens if their incentive to mine disappears, which periodically those stories circulate. The whole network implodes. 
I asked this question 10, more than 10 years ago with one of the crypto pioneers, and I have yet to receive an answer from anybody because there is no answer. It is nothing but a scam pretending to be something that it isn't. It is a fiction being per supported by its proponents, like PayPal now. They seem to want to get into the gambling business now rather than helping their actual customers. It robs the economy of useful capital and it steals from the public. It's nothing more than a casino. If you support crypto gambling or crypto gambling, you are hurting people, period. Crypto is a casino that disappears when the lights go out, a mathematical plaything, and nothing more. Look up the Carrington event. The sportsvote.org passed 1 million views a couple days ago. 1 million views, that's pretty substantial. And I read a few uh, stories and treatments on an idea called the power of 10,000. The power of 10,000. So what that means is uh, you can do anything if you can motivate 10,000 people. If you can get 10,000 people all going the same direction, you can change the entire world. Well, we have more than 10,000 people on all sports market, so I'll just leave that there. Analysts are finally starting to see the problems with DraftKings and the marketplace. Uh, I guess it only took them a couple years. I mean, it's pretty clear if you look at the numbers. DraftKings is well on its way to losing a billion dollars in 2020. A billion dollars. Think about that. Okay, so... Looks like they're finally starting to get the picture. And then finally, today is Safe Harbor Day. The law will be followed. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will take office on January 20th, 2021. This is not the Third Reich, and we will remember who every person was that participated in this. You can be absolutely certain. Thank you, stay safe, and I'll speak with you next time.